here I have the TP-Link 8 gigabit splitter. Some people call it a switch, but basically what it does is you hook up one ethernet cord to this and then you have seven other ports so you could actually plug in multiple things, up to seven things, right? So we're going to be plugging in different miners to it. So we have a couple different miners that we want to plug to it. That's why I bought a set of three ethernet cords because we're going to be using up all of these ports right here and with the other ports i plan on plugging in my tv to make it you know it's a smart tv and it's on the other side where my uh, router is so you know i don't want to uh, get that choppy internet so i want to plug that in and i also have a helium miner i want to plug in so i have multiple things i want to plug in and uh, this is kind of like a starter to intermediate ethernet switch right here so you know it's gonna take a while for me to outgrow this they do have different types where there's just you guys you could get up to like 15 ports but i was okay with starting with this one so let's go ahead and open this up i did want to mention it's plug and play and that's why i got this one in particular all we have to do is you guys seriously all we have to do is plug it in and we start playing like it is that simple okay so let me show you all the moving parts we have here so we do have the power supply right here and then we have the actual splitter itself it is pretty light it's a nice sleek design i do like it has the lights in the front to let you know like if it's turned on and then it has the power switch right here so what we would do is that first port we would plug in our ethernet from our router or from our modem i have that two in one so we'll grab that we'll plug it in here and then we could actually go ahead and take one of these ethernet plugs and then we just keep plugging them in we go all the way down boom 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 so we have seven open ports right here okay so on the back side you guys could see this is where you would plug your power supply to just like that and like i said you guys it is plug and play there's pretty much not too many moving parts with this all we're gonna do is plug it in and i can't wait to get more internet versus just using the wi-fi you guys know wi-fi chops in and out i would rather have an ethernet plug we have the splitter it's nice and hooked up you guys can see it right here and we do have the green lights on top you can see the power button right here and then you can see the lights blinking on top that means they're connected 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 this one is not connected to anything yet so you do not see the light right above it this is actually just kind of like a spare cord as you guys can see right here so i do like I, I mean i like this whole setup i like the splitter i like all the ethernet cords that i bought right here it was a pretty good buy